Oh, Mr. Brown, good morning. How are you today? Good morning. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. But how's my wife? Well, she's getting better by the minute. Really? Yep, she certainly is. She'll probably be waking up around noon. <sighs> Thank goodness. Well, I have to go now. Have a nice day. goodness you're gonna be just fine Valerie. I can't wait for you to wake up. <sighs> Why good morning Mr. Brown. Doctor, hello, good morning. You seem much more happier today. I am guessing you heard the good news about your wife. <laughs> I certainly did. I couldn't be much more happier. Well, I'm glad she's fine. Thank you. She'll be waking up soon, so if I were you, I'd stay here and just wait. Yes, of course. Alrighty, well, have a nice day. I'm so hungry. I should probably go downstairs and get something to eat. Hopefully when I get back, you'll be awake. Miss, how may I help you? Hi, uh, my name is Veronica, and I just came here to see how my friend was doing. Oh, well, what's your friend's name? Valerie. Valerie Brown. Oh, yes, Miss Valerie. Well, she's doing perfectly fine. Thankfully, she made it through the night. Um, she'll be waking up soon, and by tomorrow, she'll be home and peacefully resting. Uh -huh. Oh, really? So, she made it. Indeed. Are you her friend? Yes, I am actually. I'm her best friend. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> We're very close, you know. We're like besties. We tell each other everything. And I care a lot for her. Oh, well you sound like a really good friend. Well, don't worry. Your best friend is going to be fine. Oh, great. Um, may I go in to see her? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but visiting hours don't start right now. They start until later. Oh, gosh darn it. Well, thanks anyway. And thank you for taking care of my friend. No problem. <laughs> well, bye. But don't tell anyone I was here. Well, why not? Just because I want it to be a surprise. Alrighty then. Thank you. What a nice cat! Be careful, you don't want to get hurt. You're okay. Yes, I'm okay. I honestly thought I was gonna lose you. You're not gonna get rid of me that easy. Oh, Valerie. I love you. I love you too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I didn't take good care of you. Ryan, you don't have to apologize. Veronica's just a crazy psychopath. And neither you or me can do anything about it. I love you, Brian, very much. I love you more. <sighs> well, Miss Valentine, I'm very glad you're okay. Well, Mrs. Brown, I am glad you are fine. We all put our all into taking care of you. And I want to thank you for that. Thank you very much for taking care of my wife. Yes, thank you, Doctor. It's always been my pleasure. Dustin! Dustin, where 
are you? I'm right here. Uh, who in the world are you? Oh, uh, well, I'm Dustin. You're not Dustin. You don't even look like Dustin. <gasps> I got a makeover, genius. And why in the world would you do something like that? Uh, what do you mean? It's a pretty awesome plan, don't you think? <sighs> okay, just explain to me why you did it. Just, just tell me why. Oh well, I did it so they won't arrest me. If they look at me like some other pet and not like Dustin, they'll think I'm someone else and they won't capture me. Don't you think it's an awesome idea? You should probably get a makeover too. <sighs> you know, sometimes I wonder why I even hired you. Um, why? You know that it really doesn't matter if you look like some pet else. Um, I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. It really doesn't matter if you get a makeover. You know why? Because you'll still be seen with me. You're still working for me. You're still helping me. And if the police officers look at you with me, they'll probably say, Hey, this dog got a makeover. So we won't think that he's Dustin Brown. Oh, that's true. <sighs> look, just... Just forget about it. We have more important things to think about. Well, what happened now? Valerie didn't die. What? But I thought she was gonna die. I mean, she was this close to the bomb, wasn't she? That's what I thought. But no. That stupid cat seems like she she's gonna live forever. She just doesn't die. Maybe she's some kind of witch or something. Oh, Dustin. You know, Dustin? This isn't really time for your little games. I... It, it, I wasn't joking. Ah, Look, we need a better plan, and you better come up with something amazing. Veronica, I don't mean to sound, you know, weird or anything like that, but don't you think it? you're going a bit too far? I mean, it's over. Brian doesn't love you. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Brian is already married. He loves Valerie. Why would you even think possible that Brian will come to you and leave Valerie behind? Because he just will. He loves me. I know he loves me. Veronica, you seriously need a reality check if you think Brian even loves you. It's time to move on, Veronica. You don't want to get in much more trouble than you already are in. Dustin, you just don't understand. What is there to not understand? I love him. I've always loved him. And I want him. I need him with me. And if he's not with me, there's not a reason for me to live anymore. You can't say that. Look, if Brian doesn't love you, it, it might mean something. It might mean that he's not the one for you. Open your eyes, Veronica. Just come up with a better plan, okay? Yes, come in. Hey, Brian. Matt, it's a pleasure seeing you here. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you for asking, but how's the beautiful princess? She's great. She's doing just fine. Right now, she's just resting because her head hurt, but she's gonna be fine. I'm glad, Brian. I'm, I'm very glad. I am too. Really. But I have something else to tell you. Brian, Veronica is still out there. I'm very sorry. But it's just been so difficult to try and capture her. Really, she's really smart. We've never had so much trouble with any pet before. But she's like, I really don't understand. She's just too smart for us. I understand, Matt. And you don't have to apologize for anything. I understand how Veronica can be. She just won't quit. But I promise you, we will capture her. If it's the last thing I do. Brian? Sweetie? What are you doing up? You should go back to sleep. But I heard someone. Matt! Hello, Valerie. Hi, Matt. It's so great to see you again. 
<laughs> you too. So, how are you? I'm doing fine, thank you for asking, but the most important question here is how are you? I'm doing perfectly great, thank you for asking. So, what brings you here? Well, I was just telling Brian that he was just here to uh, see how you were doing and, you know, because he really cares for you. Isn't that right, Matt? Uh, yes, certainly. Of course, that is the reason why I'm here. Hmm. Are you sure? It seems like you guys are not telling me something. <laughs> what? what? No, that's just the reason why he was here. Brian, I have been living with you for my whole life. I know when you're lying and when you're not. So, if I were you, I'd tell me what is happening. Just tell her, Brian. <sighs> well, fine. Is this about Veronica? Yes, it is about Veronica. Great. What did she do now? No, no, she didn't do anything, but we were just talking about how she's still out there, you know, and it's very dangerous for you and Brian. And Valerie, Brian, I just wanted to say how sorry I am for not capturing her, but it's just very difficult for me. Oh, man, you don't have to apologize. I know how Veronica can be. She's just very difficult to, you know, deal with. You don't have to be sorry. You don't have to apologize for anything. You've done enough. And I just want to thank you for that. <laughs> well, you don't have to thank me. It's my pleasure. But seriously though, you have to rest. I agree with Matt, honey. Alright, alright. I'll go back to sleep. I love you, Brian. See you later, Matt. You too, Valerie. I'll be here if you need anything, okay? Okay. Beautiful. You're a very lucky guy. I know I am. And I realize that every single day of my life. Well, I'm glad you're happy. And I'm glad Valerie is all better now. Thank you, man. I better be going now. Gotta go and see if we can capture her. But do you know anything? Do you know where she is? Oh, of course I know where she is. What? Haven't I not told you? No, Brian, you haven't. Oh my goodness, I thought I did. I'm really sorry, Matt, but I have her direction right here. I went to look for her. Remember when I told you that I needed to talk to her very seriously? Yes, I remember. Well, turns out I did find her. And talked to her, but she just didn't understand. Well, can you come with me? Well, uh, I really don't want to leave Valerie alone. <sighs> That's right. But we should be back home, like, at night or something. I promise you that when we get home, I'll leave Valerie with her mom and I'll go with you. Promise. I promise. Alright, well then, I'll see you tonight then. See you tonight.